again, moving swiftly on, we've got next up using mirroring 360 to quickly swap between device screens in the live call by James Preston uh, from Nottingham. Take it away, James. Thanks, Kevin. Can I just check that you can uh, hear me before I start rambling? I can hear you. Okay. And can you see my screen? I can see your screen. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So thanks for having me. Uh, I'm from University of Nottingham, and I'm going to give you a quick talk about uh, Mirroring 360, which in essence is an app that allows you to take the screen of a secondary device and bring it up as a window on your primary device. So <clears throat> the, reason why you might, yeah, the reason why you might want to do this is you might want to swap quickly between, say, a tablet where you're doing some handwriting and other resources such as the internet or Teams. Doing this on one device is a pain because you have to sort of flip between things and everyone can see behind the curtain. Uh, one way you can do that is to have everything open on your tablet, but I do, I've tried this and I found that my tablet was struggling to cope with uh, Teams and uh, Drawboard or writing software at the same time, and it was getting a bit laggy. Uh, it's also a bit fiddly. Uh, switching device is another option, but obviously that's not great either because then you have to kind of stop sharing the screen on one, start sharing the screen on the other. And it just, it's just quite stressful and um, takes the fun, about, fun out of it a bit. So one solution is to have your tablet screen as a window on your main screen, on your main device's screen. Quick and easy to do and uh, takes a lot of the stress out of things. So Mirroring 360 is an app that presents the tablet screen as a window. It's easy to use works for uh, Windows, Android, uh, Apple. I think it works on all of them. I would say that it's not free, but the University of Nottingham, and I assume a lot of other universities too, have this in their um, software library. So if you, if you don't know, maybe check with your university software library to see if you've got it for free. I don't know how much it costs, but I, I don't think it's particularly cheap. Uh, there's a very slight lag, but it's it's not nothing terrible, maybe like a second on my Windows device at least. So I haven't had any problems with lag that have caused issues. So as a quick demonstration of what it looks like, I've got something set up already. So you can see that I've got my laptop, sorry, my tablet screen as a window on my on my laptop now. I'm using my laptop to share my screen. I could then go to the internet say I wanted to work out a quadratic, I wanted to write down the formula, well, I can pop to the internet and then I can then minimize this and return back to this window and then write whatever I need to write. So it's nice and fluid. And then you can just minimize that if you wanted to go back to a PowerPoint or back to Teams or whatever, dead easy to use. Now, in, in terms of actually making it work, it's kind of hard to do a demonstration because uh, if I if I start from scratch, you can't actually see what my tablet is sharing. But I've I've done some uh, some sort of copy and pasting of images onto my PowerPoint. On your tablet, you'll get this screen, this little window here, and on your um, and on your presenting screen, you'll get something else. So let me show you what it will look like. So you'll need to download the Mirroring 360 sender on your tablet device because you're going to send the information from that device to your main device. You need to download the receiver on your main device and then that collects it and then displays it as a window. So the red thing is what it, you should get on your uh, main device and this green thing is what you should get on your tablet. Um, so to make it work, you'll get a code here that's automatically generated. generated. You can change it if it's not working or if you want a different one. Then on your tablet, you click on this little window here and pop in the code uh, there and press add. Your device should then appear in this box down here and it should say online if it's worked. You then press this play button once, once your device appears here. You'll then be asked for a passcode the passcode appears on your main device's screen. It's a four-digit code. 
you pop that in to the box that appears on your um, on your tablet, press enter, and then up pops a window with uh, your tablet's screen. And it's not just the window that's open on your tablet screen. You can change what window you're showing on your tablet if you wanted to as well. And once you've had enough, you just press the stop button instead of this play button and it, it'll, it'll stop. A couple of words of warning though, from my experience, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've kind of learned how to make it work with practice though. Sometimes it'll think that it's active when it's not or your device just appears offline. So a couple of kind of IT crowd style fixes are uh, try turning it off and on again. A quick way to do this is to go into the task manager on both devices and end the mirroring 360 task and then try again. That works most of the time. If that doesn't work, something that always works in my experience is just to restart both devices. A bit of a pain, but at least it works. Therefore, I would suggest if you do want to use this, make sure you have it connected at least 10 minutes or start to connect it at least 10 minutes before the start of the class that you need it for. Otherwise, you may get caught out and uh, enter a bit of a stressful period. I think that's all I wanted to say, uh, but I would welcome anyone who's got um, similar or better or free software like Mirroring 360 that they'd like to talk about. I'm always uh, open to getting better software. And that's all for me. Thanks for listening. And I'll, uh, I'll hand back over to Kevin. Right, thank you very much. Yes, that's, that's solving one of the problems that uh, quite often appears where you sort of like slowly having to change screens and things. Right? Yeah. Saying, having to say to the students, I'm just changing this. Let's just switch yeah. that. Oh, it's taking its time. The so silence it's, feels a lot heavier then, doesn't it? Yeah, it just <laughs> it feels not, not as slick. Um, there is somebody in, in the chat, somebody did mention a, a free thing. Um, what was it, AirDroid? So maybe, maybe we can talk oh. about that later in the questions. But. Yeah, I've never heard of that, but I'll, I'll have a look. Right. Okay. Well, as I say, thank you very much.